What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's one, we are yet again out with the R35. But today's video is a little bit different because we're going to get this car filmed, not for the channel, but for Bob Jane T-Marts, which is pretty cool. Not anything I would have expected that this car would be in an ad for them, but um, yeah, I guess they want to use the car to promote that they sell these tires and that they sell for modified cars. I'm not too sure what the agenda is, but yeah, the GTO gets to be in a, a proper ad, which is pretty cool. So it should be uh, on the socials. I don't know when they're gonna be rolling it out, but uh, yeah, keep an eye out, I suppose, on Bob Jane Team Art socials and tag me in, uh, in a, a story or a post if you see it. But the car's filthy at the moment. I literally have an hour till I have to leave. So gonna have to do a bit of a streamlined wash. Uh, it always looks pretty good on camera, but when you get up close, you can see like, the water spots where it dried yesterday. A bird blessed me with its presence if you're in a few spots. So yeah, we're gonna get to washing this now, back it up. I don't wanna to film too much because you guys have seen me wash a car plenty of times, but just for the sake of this video and a bit of behind the scenes, I might set the camera up and show you guys a bit of snippets, snow foam, that sort of stuff. So I'll get to doing that now and then take you along for the ride because hey, we made it to an ad, baby. Of course, we're gonna do a cold start for the boys. side of my front bar has definitely seen some bitumen so if you see a little bit of wrap hanging down don't ask all right guys we have some groundbreaking news i lent my gurney to my brother and he hasn't returned it oh a face palm moment after just do a standard old age bucket wash i guess but i'm not stoked on that about 40 minutes later now she is uh as about as clean as it's going to get. So, I've got some tie shine on the tyres because I dare say they're probably going to get some photos. So they're looking nice and uh, it's not shiny. It's more like a matte shine, which I prefer. But yeah, the car's looking nice now. So I've got about 15 minutes before I got to go. So I'll be getting changed into the uh, the fresh merch. As you can see, I got the old one on, which this is the Falcon one, uh, and then the GTR design. By the time you're watching this, the pre-order's done, so I'll have that fresh one on with my new, it's actually the OG logo, it's like my old banner logo, right across the middle, and a GTR on the back, so gonna go change into that, just on the odd chance that I'll make it into the video, and uh, head to the Gold Coast. location I think I'm meant to be going up there so I don't know how to get there but yeah I guess I'll go try and find that oh here we go up here I'm gonna say as you can see by the uh, hotels we are definitely in the Gold Coast I wonder, you guys can uh, see it with me for the first time. Oh, just who you don't love to see. You do not like to see the transport compliance people. Right where you're getting photos, but that's where he wants to get videos. In front of this little section here, because it's got a bit of purple vibe so I guess that's pretty cool under some lights too nice oh and if you look out that window if it focuses for that right there are the rides of SeaWorld there where's my finger there and there so 
That is pretty cool. Some more hotels out there. Yeah, that is definitely a uh, scary. Imagine if this was all one big setup. Right, so the videographer has been working his magic. We were sort of blessed because the purple and purple is definitely sweet. The sun is coming through awesome, and there is literally not one other car in the very top. We're a couple stories up, the car park obviously goes down, but hot damn. Definitely uh, thought I was getting stitched up when I saw, <laughs> saw all these cars here. That would not have been very fun if you don't know what they are. They're the, uh, they're the people that you don't exactly want to have a run in with if you have a modified car, but thankfully, this car is 100% legal, definitely. So, they haven't come, so I've been, obviously, not here to have any dramas. I'm not trying to have dramas, so that works out wicked, but we've got all the helicopters flying over from like SeaWorld and everything, so pretty cool. We are well and truly in the Gold Coast. I, the shoot now is done. I'm currently walking up, the sun is setting, but I think you should be able to get a pretty cool shot. Oh, look at that. What a afternoon. Now, that building just there, you can see the Audi, probably, maybe. Uh, there's an Audi center. To the right of it is a Ferrari dealer, which has some pretty cool cars in there. Like I said, all that behind me is SeaWorld, so Surface Paradise and stuff is uh, that way somewhere. So definitely a really cool spot. I'm uh, gonna stay here. I was gonna go and get photos somewhere else, but I think once that sun goes down just a little bit more, I think we should be uh, set for some pretty cool sunset photos. Alrighty boys, we are wrapping up. I've taken plenty of photos. As you can see, that sun has gone down. I think I got some wicked shots. I went and backed up against like that graffiti there. Hotel's got like a waterfall lights going, which looks sick. But uh, yeah, what an afternoon. I'm sort of tempted to go have a look at the uh, Ferrari dealership, but I also don't know where I'm gonna park this. But let's uh, get in and go for a drive. All right, boys, we're on foot now. Hopefully this lens isn't struggling too much in the low light, but not everyone has a Ferrari dealership nearby, so. I went and found a random side street, parked in it. Now we're uh, venturing on foot because I want to show you guys the cars are inside because let's call this manifesting. One day we'll have that level of supercar. So we are at the dealership, as you can see. I want to start at this far side. So this is the Ferrari dealership. And then there's Prestige by Frizzle Sunshine. And now i got some Ferraris. And I just want to let you know, I am by no means a Ferrari person at all, actually. Oh, they got a McLaren though, a 720. Oh, I am a McLaren person. I love Ferrari as well, actually. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is manifesting right here. One day I'll be coming to a place like this to get a car for myself. But boy, I'm gonna need to start saving a bit better. All right, so here is some Ferraris. I honestly am not very knowledgeable when it comes to this. I'm gonna say that this one is a 458 Spider. Oh, man. I know like Ferrari is iconic with the red, but that blue goes crazy. All right, boys, this is, uh, this is all time for me, a 720S. 765 LT would, would be like the goals. Oh, bro, that is one day if i make it that is how you will know there will be one of them in my driveway i've done a video on one of them before and oh fell in love this blue is just gorgeous now again i'm not a ferrari wizard so i don't know what these are but i do like what i'm seeing although i don't like that i'm seeing a uh charging cable go into it. Is this the F8 or something? I really don't know, but that color, oh my God. Let's see if my filter makes it. No, not really. That is such a nice color. Oh man, look at that. Oh, I think the filter's making the glass go a bit weird. As a dream. Look at the like wheels. That second one down. Oh man. 
That is so cool. Oh, we got a F1 tire. That's sick. That is crazy wide. Just for reference, I have massive hands. Then there is that weapon. That looks cool. I love that purple. Oh, is, that, is that the same car? Surely. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the right person to be talking about Ferraris. But hey, they're sick, so I'm showing you boys. Oh. Wow. I sort of feel like the front end's just a bit too pointy for me with this, like... The rear end goes crazy, but I don't know about the front end. I don't know if these are all the same. They sort of look the same to me, but... This right here. This is, this is a winner, I reckon. Very nice, I'm not denying that. That to me is just so cool. That, the 488, but in that purple colour, oh, stop it. That would make me a very happy boy. I can say I love the 458s. That is a model that I've seen a fair bit. Obviously, TJ Hunt had one, which, if you know me, I love TJ Hunt. I love his content. But, uh, yeah, 458. With that purple, oof, that'd be rad. There's an Audi dealer here. Uh, I know the lens is probably struggling, but we'll see if they have anything cool. Oh my God, we have hit the jackpot, boys. This right here is one of my dream cars. It was always this and the R35. Now, obviously, I've ticked one of them off the bucket list. Oh man, that is so cool. Carbon wing, one day. I think that's an RS6 in the background, maybe. I'm not too sure. Oh man, this is so bloody nice. Audi Centre, Gold Coast. I think I'm allowed to walk here, I really don't know, but I hope so. RS6. My lens is, my lens is struggling here. RS4 next to it. But the all-time winner. I'm trying to see the price. I can't, they, they keep it really small so you don't pass out when you walk past it, but that's a 2017. God, that's so nice. Carbon mirrors. One day, boys. Work hard enough make the right choices and it'll happen for us one day. Now, there's plenty of dealers around here, but I don't think they have the supercar lineup. So I'll put the camera down now because you guys are probably struggling to see me anyway, or it'll be real freezy. So back to the car we go. So I forgot to film when I walked past the front of this. This is the first ones that I showed you. Pretty cool. If you're not local to like a Ferrari dealer, you obviously wouldn't see a lineup of all these Ferraris often, so I thought I would show you guys. Another GTR spotted, baby. One year ago, that would have had me absolutely mind blowing.